Yeah, one of our brothers went up to uh, the, one of the sisters in the street and asked her if she would date a broke man. I want you to hear her response. Let's roll that clip. Would you, would you, you're very pretty. Would you date a broke man? Would you date a broke oh, man? Yeah, I date a broke man. You date a broke man? Yeah. Fine as you. Yeah. What? If he ain't got no. Huh? He can't help it. Oh, really? So what yeah. you. Wait, 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 wait. We got to ask this question. I'll see you coming out the bank. What you do? So I'm an ER tech. Okay. But I don't make a lot of money neither, so mm. I feel like I'm broke. So it's like I won't <laughs> you know? Okay, so, so if he flat broke, you ain't ma- you'll still date him. Yeah, I mean. Hey, man, y'all better get out here and holler at some of these fine women. There's some out here date the broke ones. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. Now, her response is actually a very, very good one because she's genuine. And, and I know a lot of times that we talk about, you know, the entitled female and and what they do and how they come across and how it's very ugly and annoying. But there are some out there who don't think that way, who think, man, I just want to just want somebody and I I work with them. I rock with them. And it's not even so much her saying a broke man, because money, you can be broke one day and then you could be middle class, upper middle class, you know, upper class, rich and everything else. It it come in progression. And also you can be rich and go down to broke. Fellas, it's actually better to get a woman when you broke. Let me tell you why. Oh, if you get a woman when you broke, then you know she's genuinely there for you because she's not there because you're giving her all kinds of things. A woman like what you saw in the video, good personality, you know, friendly, you know, feminine that you saw in this video because she was feminine, you know, um, that's the kind of woman right there that is marriage material, uh, brothers right there. You know, that's a woman that you, sh- you should say, okay, I'm going to take time with her, treat her right, you know, see what this relationship going to go and Hey, you know, uh, possibly marry her because in this day and time, fellas, that should be a question right up front. Hey, would you date a broke man? She said, nah, I ain't dating no broke man. Bye. Because that female will leave you if anything happened. And listen, you know, what if you get sick? What if you get hurt on the job or something and you down a little bit and, and the money go down a little bit while you hurt or something? What, she going to leave you? Because that's going to happen to females that they got their hands out. They're saying that you need to give them this and give them that and they deserve this and they deserve that. They're going to leave you quickly because they're not with you for you. They're with you for what you can give them. And that's really a gold digger. If you think about it, you know what I'm saying? Now, some of them say, Oh, well, what's wrong with, um, you know, black women wanting, you know, men that's, uh, make good money. Other women, you know, they want the same things. Let me tell you something. What I've seen with other groups, what I've seen was that they were pretty good. A lot of times and peeping brothers when, when it was in the process of growing, you understand? So like, they just have, I don't, just, I don't know why, but they just have a better, you know, view a lot of times of, oh, this brother about to go somewhere. Let me get with him now. He, he could be in college, broke, eating ramen noodles. But some of them know how to peep that particular brother and get with him. And then that brother, you know, graduate college. Or even if that brother is on the job and he got a certain type of drive or something like that. And then they know he's going to go somewhere some of the times. That do happen. Now, unfortunately, in our community, we always want to see a finished product. So you want the brother to be already into the money. Now you should, you know, he should be looking at you and giving you a chance and X, Y, Z, right? And it's usually not like that because if he's already there at that level that he already kind of made it, you know, and also some of y'all that's out here, you want to try to compete with the top 4% to the top 3%. And what I mean by that is you won't, you know, the, the top 4% make between 150,000 and 200,000 and the top 3% makes 200,000 and above. Y'all want preferably the top 3%, right? Uh, of black men, the top 4% for sure. A lot of you want, even if you say, well, if he just makes a hundred thousand or, or close to that, I'm fine with that. That is still the top, the top, almost borderline upper middle class is, is what you want. And when a guy gets to that point, you know, what are you going to do to get his attention? Because when a guy goes up in levels of income, you aren't the only one that he, that's going to come his way. 
Because when he have it like that, it's women of all communities going to come his way. So you really going to compete more for him than you would a brother that's average making 40,000. Cause most, they say the average amount of money black men make is 40,000. You would do better starting off with that brother than trying to compete with the ones that's like 150, 200,000 and up. Cause the competition going to be extremely fierce. So that sister right there, she would get a brother that's making the 40,000, you know, 35,000, whatever. And he scaled himself up He get to over the 200,000. She going to reap that benefit and she going to deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, so that's why I say, you know, a woman like that fellas, you know, if you run into one that talk like that, she got a good personality. She's humble. That's the ones you want to go after. You don't want these, these females out here got all that, that mouth and weighing all that, that witchcraft on the face and doing all that stuff. They doing themselves. No, you want one that's going to treat you right. That's the ones you want. Um, the one that's going to stick by your side, the one that's going to be a good mom to your kids. That's, that's the women you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, always to anytime they tell you, Oh, I deserve this. I deserve Ruth Chris. I deserve to be taken here. I deserve to be taken there. You don't deserve crap. You don't deserve what you work for when it comes to me. No, uh, uh-uh. now nah, who say I wouldn't want to take you there, but you're not going to demand it. Let it be out of the goodness of the man's heart, right? Like forget that female demanding things. Cause when they demanding from you, they demanding for like five, six other dudes too. So no, I'll be wasting your money like that. That's why I said when I was doing the interview with Charday, take him to Starbucks. And some of them in that comment section say, I'll wait everything he was saying to you said that. Why? Because, and would they say, Oh, because they deserve, they feel like they are a prize. No, no, you're not. Mm -mm. That's arrogance talking. If you say you're a prize, you're arrogant. You're not there to try to build a relationship. You're there to get over. There's nothing wrong with going to the Starbucks or whatever. You're just meeting a person at first. You don't know I me. Mean, y'all hit it off real good. The next time he going to want to take you somewhere nice, right? Because he hit it off with you real well. Be humble. You know, don't despise humble beginnings because you don't know what that guy got. You know, he could have a hundred million in the bank, but you, you despise him because he wants to go to a coffee shop. No fellas. You know what I say at Starbucks, but Leave me in the comment, you know, let me just think about the situation with, with this, you know, lady here. Like I'm just putting it out there. Not all of them are entitled. Not all are not all, you know, but if you run into one like this fellas, you better, you know, how I let them.